Hello everybody and welcome back to EF2000 Retro. I apologize for the silence on this channel over the last months and I fear it will stay relatively silent over the forthcoming weeks as well. This is owed to the fact that my real life is strongly impacted by the seasonality and I typically tend to have more time during the winter months and during the summer months, but uh, little time doesn't mean I have no time. So this channel isn't dead, it's just currently a little bit less active than during the winter and spring months. So you now have an explanation for the relative silence at the moment and an indication when to expect more or less content from my side. I will nevertheless try to improve a little bit to shuffle some time free for me to produce more content. This is not a firm promise, but at least I will try to improve to offer a greater connu continuity with regard to content production. This not only affects uh, video production, which isn't my primary trade, but also mod content development for Falcon BMS. So after a month of silence, I felt that a status update is overview and here it comes. So let's start with a recap of what has happened over the last month. After the publishing of the last Brimstone 2 missile test video for EF2000 Retro, I have released the still most current update 3 for the EF2000 Retro add-on 4 Falcon BMS 4.37. And on 1st July 2025, I guess you have noticed that the BMS team has finally released its long-awaited version 4.38 of Falcon BMS, which is set to become the new baseline standard for the simulation. I have uh, ran a poll on my official EF2000 Retro Discord server, the link to which you can find in the video channel description. Uh, it has concluded uh, last day and I asked the community for its opinions and feedback in order to make up my mind how to proceed. The results are out now and I have made up my mind and decided I will continue with the EF2000 Retro add-on project for Falcon BMS 4.37 but I will also produce content for the new version and I have uh, already started to work on uh, theater dependent mods that I call EF2000 BTO or Baltic uh, Balkan, theater, Balkan Theater of Operations which has progressed to a point where better tests can be started. So this uh, video is released in conjunction with the open beta for the EF2000 BTO version for Falcon BMS 4.38. It is uh, dependent on the Balkan add-on theater, so you need to have it installed before you can use this mod. The purpose of this uh, theater dependent mod is that EF2000 BTO makes it as much use as possible of the existing data from the Balkan theater and only includes data files, but it is managed like a separate add-on theater, so you will have to launch the separate CADA, not the normal Balkan CADA. What you can see in the background is some video footage from a flight that I recorded uh, today, including some tests mostly of the cockpit functionality through uh, REM start and also flying around a bit testing store status and options. I have already implemented the German and British variants of the Euro Typhoon aircraft, including the external 3D models, flight model, cockpit uh, data, including weapon loadouts and rack data, and I have implemented weapon updates as well. For the time being, uh, EF2000 BTO is not meant to be a replacement for EF2000 Retro as such, so it will be less comprehensive in scope. Some people have asked me 
Whether if 2000 Retro is compatible with the new Falcon BMS version, and no, it isn't, and it cannot be converted either because 4.38 introduces a completely new Tyrian engine that renders all existing theater maps produced for Falcon BMS before version 4.38 incompatible and therefore obsolete. Whether a new Nordic or other suitable theater for 4.38 will be developed or not remains to be seen. I don't hold my breath and I'm definitely not the one who's going to produce such a theater because theater map creation is definitely not my trade. But if the opportunity emerge maybe some point in the future, then I may reconsider a 4.38 compatible version of EF2000 Retro, but for the time being we have to cope with the CADAS that are available. Some people have asked it uh, for at least a uh, CADA mod, or more specifically the transfer of the work on the Eurofighter Typhoon Aircraft 24.38, and that's the primary objective of the EF2000 BTO project. Um, I have also decided to continue with the EF2000 Retro add-on project for Falcon BMS 4.37, so um, an update for us in the works based on bug reports and feedbacks that I have received. It will be a relatively minor update, but a bigger update is planned thereafter, and this forthcoming update 5 at some point in the future uh, will be a complete re-release, that means you don't need to install the baseline version and apply all updates consequentially. That being said, there's also a larger uh, development project in progress, uh, but it will still take a while and I will need to devote quite a bit of time in the forthcoming months, I guess, so I have to weigh the, the relative priorities to be keep everything going. And when time is due, I will provide more details for this. Uh, what I can say is this project uh, is set up to be compatible with both EF2000 Retro 4 Falcon BMS 4.37 it will also be made available for the Falcon BMS 4.38 based mods. So that's it for the time being. You can find the download link for the latest EF2000 BTO beta version of my BMS 4.38 compatible mod and work on the update 4 for EF2000 Retro continues that I hope to be able to release it uh, not later than by the end of August, hopefully a little bit sooner. And of course I will try to produce a little bit more video content more frequently with less lengthier interruptions. So that being said, uh, have a nice time. Give me your feedback on the better version and com comments, uh, any questions you have or support you need. Let me know and see you next time. Bye.